All right, on this day, we honor the stars and stripes. There is still a continuing battle over the Confederate battle flag. Since the church massacre in Charleston, South Carolina, many people around the country have called for banning the flag from public grounds. Yet it remains a central artifact of American history, as Chip Reed reports. We're going to go down here and we're going to go straight out. Scout Troop 210 out of Springfield, Illinois, carried its own flag this week as it reenacted Pickett's Charge at Gettysburg Battlefield. But the battle flag that the Confederate Army carried 152 years ago today is not hard to find here. In a Gettysburg shop, you can even find it on a bikini. With calls in some parts of the country to ban the flag, here there's been little protest and only modest change. Katie Lawhon is a spokeswoman for Gettysburg National Military Park. So there, there is still a role for the Confederate flag. We feel strongly there will always be a role for the Confederate flag at Gettysburg in our museum exhibits, on monuments. There have been changes in what's for sale inside the park. The Confederate flags are gone, leaving only the stars and stripes, and you can buy a mug or a t-shirt with the rebel flag, but only if it also displays the American flag. The Confederate flag, though, is still widely displayed in the museum and on the battlefield itself. We've always told both sides of the story here at Gettysburg National Military Park. It's our passion to tell the whole story. To me, it's heritage and history. Civil War reenactor Lee Hauser wears the elaborate uniform of Confederate General Isaac Trimble, a key figure at Gettysburg. They had ancestors on the Confederate side that all that I'm doing is honoring them by flying this flag. Scott Wilson plays a mid-level officer. Both men say they are pained by the fact that some people, including the Ku Klux Klan and white supremacists, such as alleged killer Dylan Roof, have long used the flag as a symbol of hatred and racism. And sometimes people ver pervert it and use it for other things, which is, uh, which is an injustice, honestly. If I could take that flag away from the KKK, I would tomorrow in a heartbeat. But I can't, freedom of speech, you know? But they say here at Gettysburg, that flag is an important part of an educational experience intended to inspire Americans to learn about their past. For CBS This Morning Saturday, I'm Chip Reed in Gettysburg.